All right, this is Steven of Stephen K Music on YouTube. I thought I would bring you guys something different. Um, I do have new music coming out. I have three demo CDs coming out: uh, pop rock, electronic, and like soundtrack music. But uh, I want to bring you guys a I don't know, sort of a demo tutorial of a plugin I found called Glitch. Uh, it's a free plugin made by DBlue, and uh, you can get it if you go to www.illformed.org. It's absolutely free. Um, I found it randomly, you know, trolling the interwebs, and I think it's great. Uh, kind of made a little demo song to show you guys exactly what it does. I'm only gonna play around with a few of the effects, but you'll you know you know you'll get a you get a feel for it. But anyway, I'll start with showing you some effects on the kick here. So I will you know, solo the kick. This is just fruity kick, you know, no expensive samples or anything crazy. But okay, I got the kick here on insert two, and I got glitch. Uh, I'm just gonna play it. Just super basic, super basic kick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up glitch and change that. I already got a couple things in here. Uh, I haven't really played with it that much yet, but if I turn on glitch, you can see that the stretcher is stretching the fourth note in each bar. Uh, in order to make these effects, basically, you have to choose them. Uh, obviously, the colors here uh, relate to the colors up here, so let's say you want the reverser. So you click on the reverser, and here are each beat. And so you want the reverser on the second beat in the second bar. So what you do is, and the clicking is kind of strange on here. Uh, I'm just going to put two, make it a little easier on myself here. All right. And you can hear that it you know, takes the full time to reverse. Uh, you can change the type of reverse. Uh, with these sliders, obviously, it's pretty point and click. But anyway, uh, I want to shorten that up a little bit. So you just make the actual effect a little bit shorter. Um, there's so much you can do with this. Uh, one of my favorite things is the retrigger. Uh, if you retrigger it, uh, it doesn't work too well with a kick. Works better with a lead that you know goes off for a longer time but uh, playing around with this and knowing exactly when you're gonna want your effects is always a plus I'm just basically showing you guys the program at this point alright let's stop that that's the kick I don't think I'm gonna leave that in there uh, maybe I'll leave the last beat stretched why not it doesn't really matter but anyway uh, now I will show you what it can do to a lead uh, I already have, already have a lead set up. I'm going to solo that and show you the lead without uh, deep blue. I'm going to leave it off. But anyway, here it is. Alright, uh, super basic, just uh, like an 8 bit synthesizer. And it is not actually using glitch at this point at all. That's just the synthesizer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on Glitch and play it with Glitch Active. I already have it set up in Glitch using the gator, the tape stop, and the stretcher. And uh, the retrigger here I just added a second ago. But uh, here it is. Here's how it sounds with Glitch. And as you can see, it takes on a, a different personality because you're using all the effects in Glitch. Uh, Glitch is basically a convenience program. I mean, you can do this all yourself, but it would take a lot longer and you'd have to go through a lot more effects to achieve the same thing, basically. And uh, you don't have to do that with this. So uh, anyway, I'll let you guys listen to the song I made really fast. Uh, it's just... Uh, increasing tempo in the beginning and then it uh...
don't know, kind of levels out. <laughs> plugin scales with the tempo completely uh it's it's directly relative to the tempo of your song so if you have a slower tempo the plugins will trigger slowly if you have a fast tempo the plugins will trigger more quickly um it's not hard to use it only takes a few minutes to figure out the basics and there is so much customiza customization the customization per plugin isn't very detailed. I mean, if you want a very detailed stretch, you're gonna have to get a plug-in or uh, a re-trigger. You might have to do manually in an editor. But, I mean, for basic things, you don't need anything else. This will help drastically when it comes to transitions in your song. Uh, it, it's just really, it's really convenient, I guess. Uh, it does have master filters. I wouldn't suggest using any filters in a plugin like Glitch. Uh, I would put in your filters after the fact. But uh, if you want to save CPU, it does have the built-in filters. All right, that has been a look and a, I don't know, a demo, I guess. Not, not so much a tutorial as it is a demo. If you have any questions or want to know anything specific, let me know. Um, other than that, I uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, hit that subscribe button. I'll, the, you know, the more people that care, the more motivation I'll have to put out more things like this. And uh, all right, have a good night, everybody. <laughs>